Hello, today I want to talk about one ingredient to avoid and that's bleach flour. Bleach flour is popular in a lot of processed baked goods, even baked goods that are not white or light in color such as double chocolate chip muffins or rainbow colored cookies. In other words, foods where it doesn't make sense to add bleach flour. So bleach flour is refined flour. The bran and germ, which is rich in nutrients, of the wheat kernel has been removed and only the endosperm is left, leaving the grain with no vitamins and minerals. After the wheat kernel has been removed, the flour is milled into a fine powder. Then it's treated with chemical agents such as benzoyl peroxide, chlorine, and potassium bromate. This ages the flour fast and is done to improve its quality in baked goods. It's important to note that the chemical process transforms the taste, texture, and appearance of the flour along with its nutritional value and how it can be used for bacon. For those with sharp taste buds, they will notice that bleached flour is slightly bitter than unbleached flour. Generally, bleached flour is enriched with certain vitamins and minerals to improve the nutritional content, which was lost in the bleaching process. Beyond nutrition, bleached flour has a brighter, whiter color, finer grain, and softer texture compared to unbleached flour, which is a pale yellow color due to carotenoids, yellow colored molecules, that are naturally present in the flour. Again, bleached flour is used in a lot of conventional baked goods like in cookies, cakes, breads, muffins, and pie crust. Because it's finer and absorbs liquids easily, this flour is ideal for these products since it gives them a lighter, airier texture and bright color such as with vanilla or angel food cake. So with this known, is bleached flour safe for consumption? Well, bleached flour has very little nutrition, if any, due to the chemical process. Nutrients such as vitamin E, B vitamins, and iron are lost. Also, chemicals are used to bleach the flour. Though they are considered safe for consumption, they are still chemicals. Over the years, many have challenged the safety of these chemicals, especially potassium bromate, which has been linked to kidney damage and cancer in animal studies. Currently, potassium bromate is illegal for use in the European Union, Canada, Brazil, Argentina, and Nigeria. However, not in the United States where it is widely used. But benzoyl peroxide, another chemical additive, is considered safe by the FDA despite many tests finding that it can harm your antioxidant levels and break down specific nutrients in foods including essential fatty acids. It's important to emphasize that these studies were done on animals who were exposed to high doses of these chemicals. So should you consume bleached flour? I say no since bleached flour is a highly questionable processed food ingredient. Its main benefit seems to be for texture. The others are not important factors when it comes to how the food tastes. And with the different chemicals used to bleach the flour, many are known to cause cancer and other health concerns in animal studies. The results of those studies should shed light on how eating products that contain bleached flour can affect those who consume large amounts of it over time, which is not very difficult to do considering that bleached flour tends to be the primary or largest ingredient in many processed foods. If your goal is to establish better health through nutrition, such as with a whole food diet, this is one ingredient you'll want to avoid. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I clearly explain what bleach flour is, what it's commonly used for, and its safety concerns. If you found this video valuable, please like, comment, and share so others can learn about this questionable ingredient. Subscribe for more health and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.